Hey everybody, welcome back to the eBay shop. My name's Corey. I'm Teresa. And we are Grams and Pops Vintage. Today we're in a hurry. It seems like we're always in a hurry, but today we're, we're pinched for time a little bit. We got to get to the post office and we have some listing that needs to get done yet today. So we figured rather than make a video and then do our listing, we just do both at the same time. We're going to try. We're going to try. We've never done this before. Might suck. Might not. We'll find out. So... We do have items that sold that we're going to kind of show you like we usually do. And in between those, we're going to try and list a few products to, to help us meet our listing goal for the day. So let's look at the first thing that sold. We sold some Tupperware. We sold some Servalier canister set. It's the entire four piece set. It's got hair on it. And it's green and yellow. So they, yep. they alternate colors. Oh, oh yeah. So, yep, there you go. And there are a set of four. So that set of Tupperware sold for how much? 40 bucks. 40 bucks. So I probably could Tupperware. have sold it quicker and for more price if I individually listed them, but. Maybe, but that worked 40 bucks, we'll oh. take it. Next thing is one of our favorite things and just in time for Valentine's Day. It is, and it's a repeat buyer buy <laughs> Nice. <laughs> they must've fit well last time. I, I don't know, but yes. Yeah. So we sold some LuLaRoe leggings. They are light pink and they have red hearts on them. Yep. So we got some Valentine's leggings. Very festive. Pretty sure those came from Resell CNY. What is it? Yeah, they did. So Ryan <laughs> and Paul, thank you for the Valentine's Day leggings. We got about a week to get them to them before Valentine's Day here. Oh, well, it's 10 days. 10 days. Nine days. Nine days. Yeah. Today's so. a bit. What'd those sell for? $9.99 plus shipping. There you go. Throw them in one of my bags and away it goes. All right. So... We don't have anything planned as far as what we're going to list, but nope. we do have a shelf full of death pile. We're just going to go over there. So I'll follow her over with the camera. We'll just pick something off the shelf in the death pile and we'll get it listed. We'll be one step closer to having our listing done. So one step closer to our death pile going down. Yep. Let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> what shall we list? So we got plenty to pick from here. We do. Just grab something. What is that? It is a KitchenAid oh, fresh we just got prep that. slicer and shredder. We just got that the other day, didn't we? Yep, at the Goodwill. So. Oh, I got it upside down. All right. How are we so doing this? I guess, I guess the first thing we gotta do is figure out what we're gonna list it for, right? We open that at the Goodwill so we know it's all complete, right? It is complete. It has all the pieces. It even has the manual. Right. Oh, is it? One, two. There must be one in it. Oh, there's one in it. Yeah. Okay. Go out to my eBay app. Whoops, I can't spell today. Ever. Fresh prep slicer. I'm not gonna put the whole thing, but. So they sell just the individual pieces. Those are all not the ones. Those are just parts and the wrong parts. So right now you're just looking for one to use as a draft. Correct. So when we do our listings, we often start with a sell similar. We'll find the same thing, figure out about what they're selling for, and we'll make a draft off of someone else's listing, if we can. There we go. Same uh -huh. one. Yep. Let's see if they have everything in it. They do. Okay, so I'm just gonna do sell similar. Um, KitchenAid Fresh Pup Slicer Attachments. I'm going to take out some of their stuff because I don't like it. I am going to put complete. Um, add specifics. It is in used condition, not seller refurbished. Slicer. I don't know what that is. Does it have a manufacturer part number on it? Does it have a spot for a barcode? I'm gonna start there because mine is just a little bit different. Then it should fill in some of my information if it finds it. And it did. 
There's my part number. It is made in China, I'm thinking. Okay, I'm gonna add pictures. I do lots of pictures, just so you know. That's in my way, but. These shadows. Side quick, so it can show the attachment pieces. It has one inside. I don't, sit. I don't know why I sat a minute ago. Set it on the round part. Tip it up. There you go. Nothing wants to sit. You can generally tell what kind of pictures to take just based on what's in it. You want to get a complete picture of everything, but <clears throat> if in question, look at some of the other listings and look at some of the pictures they took. Sometimes you get some really good ideas for different angles based on other listings. Show each one of the, the graders. No, I don't want to get myself in the picture. And then I'll be done. And then one of these last two pieces that go inside of each other. I'll flip them upside down just so they can see them. Okay. Come on back quick. Manual tuck in it. Picture's done. They had theirs listed at 25, but I'm going to go in the median and I'm going to list mine at 29.99. Oh, not 299. That'd be nice. Um, the last piece is to measure it and weigh it. I'm going to list it at, they, there's listed at 12 pounds. Wowzer. Four pounds. What's their shipping, 80 bucks? I don't know. Probably on this. <laughs> Find my tape measure quick. Figure out what size box you could put it in. And we do estimate a bit high on the size and the weight just so that we give ourselves room for padding and box and all that. And she is just putting that in the dimensions, yep. the shipping dimensions. We, with our shipping policy, we offer priority and ground advantage. They could choose which one they want. Yep. And it's just calculated shipping. I think right now we're using calculated shipping and Minus. we pass on 5% of the discount. Yep. Correct. That's it. That's it. That's so it. we will actually save this as a draft mm -hmm. and then we have to add it to our spreadsheet. Yep. So we'll just copy the title, paste it in and the price in. And then we'll post that live tonight. I will. That was a good one. Right. Some lady in that the, a good one. at the Goodwill was like, oh, where'd you find that? I'm like, back in the kitchen stuff. I think she really wanted it from me, but yeah. I'm going to sell it. She gave her a card. She could buy it on eBay. <laughs> there you go. So that's that one. <laughs> You're horrible. So we got right. one thing listed. Yep, we got one thing listed. Yay us. And that listed for $29. $29.99. So one done. Bought $100 billion to go. Let's look at what's sold next. We sold. Oh, what's his song? Well, I don't know what his song is, but it's Chester Cheetah. Yeah, Chester Cheetah. He's a Chester Cheetah 19 inch plus Cheetos Frito Lay Big Cheese. Yep, it ain't easy being cheesy. That's that's the saying, not the song, the he's saying. Even, he's even got the little Cheetos thing on his shoes here. We've he, had him for a while, that, and yeah. we just found him again he is to pretty list cool. him. One of our early garage sale videos actually show us picking him up at a little garage sale we went to but we it's don't do we don't do many garage sale videos so you shouldn't have to look too hard for that but i do know he made it to a video at one point so chester chia sold for how much 34 dollars and 99 cents plus shipping and he was listed by our daughter yep which means he was just listed so we've had him for almost a year we listed him and he was gone within a week yep. so, correct there you go tupperware this Tupperware. was a good one. Not really a good one, but it was a good one. It is a Tupperware one pound harvest gold and beige butter cheese keeper. Yep. Big block of butter or half a block of Velveeta. Depends on which one direction pound, you want to go. One pound, that means you can fit four sticks in there. Four sticks. There you go. So that butter keeper 
Sold for how much? $9.99 plus shipping. Yeah, again, old Tupperware. Can't say it enough. It still sells. It does well. It does. Do we need to list another one? We can list We need one. to list a lot of other ones. I know. Let's go Let's find one. Let's grab one. Sorry. We have a lot of toys. Maybe I'll grab a toy. This is a whole tote of toys. That's a whole tote of toys. And this is a whole tote of toys. What is that? All kinds of stuff in there. Ooh. I recognize him. I don't know who he is. I do. I When we bought him... I created a draft for him. That's another, he's like a part of Voltron, only a, diff, a completely different, like huge Voltron, but not as valuable as the Voltron we already sold. I don't know if this was a good one to pick because I got to figure out how to drop him down, like into his <laughs> mode. So this is him. Okay, so I did create a draft of him. Like I just did a real quick draft. You know what I mean? Yeah, Sometimes we did we do one. that when it's hard to find stuff. Yep. Sometimes we do it when we buy it, especially if we have to search a long time to look them up. We'll just create a draft and leave it in the bank. He is a 2017 Voltron Legendary Defender. Black tail. Black lion. I said black tail. Black lion. Yeah. So I have the draft already done. I got to figure out my picture's best option because I don't know... If I can get him to stand. Yeah, this is not. We pose him in like fighting stances. <laughs> yeah, with look at his back leg. Oh. I forgot to put his back leg down. <laughs> Yoga pose. He's not even. Why isn't he even? There we go. Somewhat like that. We could just do an all yoga pose photo shoot. Why? There we go. Okay. I don't know how to do him. So we're just going to take some random pictures of him. Oh, I got that camera. Mm. I get all the sides just to make sure that he's there. Oh, he's electronic. Don't know if you noticed that. Are you saying we need to take a quick video? I will probably have to do a video. I just don't know how he goes together. Like, I don't know. I know his arms go up into here. Sorry, this is. Yeah, it's part of reselling. Sometimes we got to figure out how stuff works, even when we have no idea how it works. Hey, he's an amputee now. Well, he has wings. Well, that's a good thing because he can't walk like that. I don't know how to make him stand. That's Why is his arms folded? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll pull his arms back out. I don't know. I don't understand. I think they fold up like that for when he becomes part of the big one. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm going to... I gotta figure out how to make him stand. Otherwise, it's really weird. They need to change his name from Black Lion to Nubby. Uses a, put his other wing down a little. Not that one. There you go. Get him a little bit. Now it's uneven on that side, but okay. Nope, that was Symmetry even. is not our specialty. <laughs> Shut up. We're doing the best we can. Okay, that's... Ooh, he got you. Is that better? Sure, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he does work. The is the only thing that can stop I just gotta see. Sometimes I like to try and get a picture of them with their lights on if I can catch it quick enough. Let's assemble Voltron and get rid of these go And then I'm gonna go out of there because stuff that has um, audio, video, you have to add from the website. Yes, but I do a quick video, and then I'll edit it a little bit. Just a quick 10, I don't know how long that was, like 10, 15 second video. We need to increase firepower. I will probably take the batteries out of him before I store him, because I don't want them to explode until he sells. But... 
Oops, I gotta get back to my app. Okay, I did my pictures. Scroll through these to make sure there's nothing weird in there. I'm gonna do this real quick though. And you can see we, we sat that KitchenAid thing over here for right now, because we haven't actually put a SKU number for where it needs to go in inventory yet. So when we're done with these and we add them to the sheet, once we hit list, we'll actually add SKUs to them when we know where they're going to go. I'm just updating his dimensions because that says he's 13 inches, but he's not 13 inches tall. Unless they laid his legs out. Um, I have a price of $19.99. We paid $2.75 for him at the Goodwill. That'll work. Oh, his tail popped. I don't remember how I did this. I'm gonna go weigh, weigh him quick. Is he gonna go in a 1266 box, I would guess? I'm guessing, because he's right under 12 inches, and if I fold his legs up. So I will do him at two pounds, four ounces. Then I just gotta measure him real quick. Sorry. Just to make sure, because I can fold his legs up and his head in. He'll still probably go in 1266. Yep, because I can move his legs up a little more. And yeah, he'll definitely fit in a six. Uh, we might no, turn won't. him sideways. No, because he won't go six. Alright. Well, we might have to build a box for him. So I'm just gonna measure him quick and we'll just. I have him. All my stuff is done. There you go. Save his draft. I just hit back. Then it saves it. Yeah, it so saves he automatically. Will, yep. He will go there until I get ready to find a home for him. All right. So we got some more things we found. Did, did Were these yeah. at the Goodwill? Yeah, we bought we them that up, same day. Yeah. So a few more things we found. We found some how to train your dragon stuff in a bag. And a couple of them ended up being pretty decent, right? Um, that one was the decentest. The decentest. The <laughs> most decentest. The most decent so, out of them all. What's that one called? So he was in that bag with that. There were like four How to Train Your Dragons. Yep. And then there were some of those little squishy dudes that I haven't listed yet. I don't yeah. remember what they are. But he sold for $29.99 plus shipping. $29.99 for one little dragon one here. One little dragon. He was a good one. All right. What do you got next? So I went through and I found a whole bunch more Christmas stuff that was Schleich item, not Schleich, Lamax, Lamax and yeah. Department 56. And so I listed out all my little figures. They're not in boxes. They're just individual. Um, this one is Lamax collection, the Whopper. It is the a two piece set. So you got a guy holding up a huge fish with a kid and you got another person with a camera taking yep. a picture. Yep. And we have just a tote of these little miscellaneous Lamax yep. figures. And Don't they are, they are doing pretty decent for us. Don't discount them. No. Like some people will be missing one piece of a Lamax character set. And they'll pay for them. And they will. Yep. So what did that little set sell for? $13.49. Yep. Pretty sure we have like a quarter in him. All right. Let's go grab the next item to list. All right. What are we grabbing this time? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's think of Amy. Amy okay. likes brass. Beach, Beach by, by repeat. repeat. Yep. We will take a look at this one. Brass golf bag. That's interesting. It looks like a pencil holder. I don't know what else you would use it for. I think it is a pencil holder. Let's see. Brass golf bag. Because I'm guessing they don't make big brass golf bags, right? Like honking. Well, that would, that would, <laughs> could you imagine carrying that? That Let's, little one probably weighs a pound. There's a different one. There are a few different ones, but not this one so far. Maybe? I think when we picked that up, we got it in a lot, but I think I looked at it one other time and the comps were like all over the place. Well, this one has a starting, it's an auction, I don't, but it has a buy it now. And it's listed at $99, but because of that, let's go in and I'm gonna go look at solds real quick just to see, cause that seems a little weird, right? Well, I never take any anything off an auction anyway. Auctions are always screwy. 
that one looks similar, but it's different. So does that one. It's not the same shape. So sometimes just figuring out a price when the comps are all over like this. Sometimes just figuring out where you want to list it is a bit of a pain. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you just got to make a decision. You got to list and so, be okay with selling it at whatever price you do put it at. Here's this one. It has the, it has a golf bag. And it is, they listed a lot of them that I've seen that are similar to that. List them as pen holders, pen okay. whatever. But this one has a, a shoehorn with it. That's a little weird. It's, but... <laughs> So they have it listed at $39, $39 even, and that's a sold comp. Okay. Let me look real quick one more. There's one that's listed for $50, $45, and it has the pens or the, to have golf the little clubs. golf clubs with it. And that looks just like ours. So I'm going to go off this one. They did sell it at a, what do you want to say it? An offer. Right. So I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do some pictures. Um, for this one, can we do it in the photo booth? If you want. Okay. Well, it's brass, so it will show up better on the white. So we're going to go over here behind our mess and do it in the photo booth. Oh, I do have a mess over here, too. Ooh, that's really bright. I like doing pictures in here of this kind of stuff because it shows up way better. Oh, it has a sticker that says made in Korea too. To say Korea? Yeah. No, at least it doesn't say made in China, I guess. That's a good thing. Hold on. There's a piece of like something in it. So I can take a picture of the inside quick. And a picture from the top. I don't think I have a tape measure over here. So we're going to go back to the other one real quick. Mm, should I go back over there and take the picture? Are you going to take a picture with the tape measure? Yeah, I think sure. just for this one. Just of the height. I guess that won't leave much question if they're asking what size it is. They can see it and read it, huh? Yep. Maybe. <laughs> I can't, my hand, I can't get a hold of my camera. Okay. I it's got like it. about six inches tall. Yep. All right. I'm going to go over real quick, sneak and weigh it. What's your guess? A uh, pound, pound and a half. Two pounds. No. Oh. You Not even. It's one pound, two and a half ounces. We're both not good at guessing weight, I guess. I'm going to leave it at two pounds. And since it's six. Four, four by six by eight or eight by six by four box. Once it has some padding in it. Yep. Eight I think that's where I'd put it. By six. I do eight by seven by five just because those are the dimensions. Okay, I'm going to scroll through all of their stuff. Um, since they had theirs listed at $44.95 and they took an offer on it, I think I'm going to list it at the same price and see what happens. $44.99. Only I'm going to do $44.99. Condition is used. I'm guessing it's vintage. What if I know? Okay, so this one we're going to list. At $44.99. And I'm going to hit back so it saves my draft. All done? Yep. All right, that's another one listed. So the, remember, the only piece you're not seeing is we will just copy the title and put it in our spreadsheet. That way we can keep track of mm -hmm. them. And we will add an inventory number to the custom SKU and put them away. Yep. So we usually do that at the end of the day. So we got a few more items that sold here. What do we got? Just, well, we got like four left. So yep. what's the next one? The next one I'm combining as one because they bought them at the same time. So these pens we picked up for like a quarter at a garage sale. And yep. we have sold them all to this one person. <laughs> yep. These We weren't sure if these were going to do good or not, but they were pins brand new in box. They were kind of a fancy pin. I could probably take one out. They are... Quill brand. Yep. Quill brand stainless steel and chrome tip 
ballpoint black ink pen. Has the replaceable ink cartridges. So they're very nice pins mm -hmm. in the box. And we did get like a, a lot of 10 or 12 or something like that. I don't remember how many. I don't remember. But I we've sold, left. yeah, we've sold all but one now. So this time there's two going out. Yep. And those are going out for how much? One for $12, one for $14.99 full price. There you go. And we'll ship them together. So. All right. Goodwill. Not Goodwill. Savers. No Savers one, yep. Yep. So this is the last one of these. It is a Nature 2 Spa Sense Aromatherapy. This one is Quiet. 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 <laughs> quiet Escape. Quiet Escape. What does Quiet Escape smell like? I don't know. I guess it depends on what you're escaping from. Like you could be escaping through a sewer. Oh, hold on. I Maybe that's not a great there. smell. I don't know. It just says Natural Antidote to Everyday Stress. Ooh, we should keep that. We don't have a hot tub. Well, I knew just add it to your Pepsi or something. Yeah. <laughs> so quiet escape, whatever that smells like. That's so sold for how much? $39.99 plus ship. Yep. So between the three of those, we hit $140 bucks for them. Yep. And we didn't pay anywhere near that. We paid $6, six a piece yeah, for them. Yeah, six a piece. So $18 bucks into $140. We'll do that every day. All right. Let's grab one more. One more? Yep. Yeah. Let's just do one more listing for right now. Then we'll finish up the what sold stuff. All okay. Right. Let's grab one more thing. Oh, dude, I didn't list all my Tupperware. No, we got lots of Tupperware up here. You know what? As long as you look up, grab that Milwaukee thing. Oh, that came right. out of our storage unit. Let's see if it's even in there. Well, I know part of it's in there. I don't know if it's complete. Oh, look at it. It has the model and crap on the side. That'll be an easy look up. Is that what that is? Based on that, yes. I'll move your arm. So that's it. I oh, wonder, is that drill, now. is that drill bit set complete? Dead. Mm, those are complete. I don't know. I might not be able to list this right now. We're going to have to plug it in. Yep. Well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and list it. Well, let's go ahead and build the listing completely. Okay. And we'll just do it as if it works. And then we'll plug it in before we list it. We'll make sure we charge the batteries and make sure both batteries hold a charge and all that. Milwaukee 2410. Your head's in the way. No, I'm kidding. You're fine. They're selling pieces and parts of that thing. I suppose. Oh, that's just the case. This might take me a minute. There's one listed without the case, so I'm going to base it off of that. I might go look a little bit farther quick, but... 68... Maybe look in the solds if you can't oh, find it. there we go. No there drills, we go. No drill yep. bits at? Nope. So I'll just add on to that. I don't think I've seen one yet scrolling. Yeah, because that's the end of my stuff. Is that one, this one. How much one, is that one listed for? It's listed for a hundred bucks. Free shipping. But here's one that has the tool and this tool and that bag. And that's in horrible shape. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this other one that has the case, but we'll price it up higher. Yeah, I would say so. This thing looks like it's barely been used. Yeah, it's, I mean, Looks it has pretty new. some well, scraps. I was going to go plug that in, but I better wait till you get pictures. Oh, this one's going to take me forever for pictures. With case and bits. I'm going to start with my outside pictures real quick, just so I can be done with those. Ooh, they get a whole lot in here. I think there's more in here than. Let's see what you got. And and this mix, little case that's Milwaukee. A mix match of everything there. These are all Milwaukee branded. Yep. Bonus. Got 
Normally I use the whole table, but today I'm not. We kind of have our filming set up, monkeying up things, but. Okay, so I just gotta work. do the two batteries and the charger and the actual thing. And yeah, everything looks like it's all Milwaukee branded in here. So. I will move the drill itself pictures up closer to the beginning though of my pictures. I would think the the whole set picture with the lid open would be the best feature image. I think the one with the thing on the back and everything sitting in front of it. Did you miss yeah. that one? No, that, that might be a good one too. We didn't buy this drill by itself, just nope. for anybody wondering. This came in a storage unit, which is completely paid for. This is just a just a bonus item. If we had bought it with electronics and drills and stuff, I always smell them. If they smell like burnt wire, leave them alone. If they don't, they're usually okay. I'm just gonna put everything back and we can take it out later so I can charge it. I just gotta get it so I can weigh it. That'll probably go in a VCR box, huh? Probably. The 14 by, or 16 by 14 or 16 by 12. Yeah. Ooh. It's going six, seven pounds. Where are we at? Eight. Eight and a half. Yep. I'm going to move it to 10. Yeah, they have a, oh, they didn't sell the tote though. 10 pounds, zero. I just got to measure quick. And once they're in those cases, they're very durable. You're not going to, you're not going to have that thing getting broke or anything. So you don't have to go crazy on the packing. Okay, so that one was listed at a hundred bucks, but it didn't have the case. What are you thinking? It also or it had the, the case, but bits. it didn't have any of the bits or anything. Did it have two batteries or one? Um, I think it only had it had two. Okay. Oh no, it only had one. It That's only hard. had one. Yeah. One fifty. I would shoot for one fifty. One forty nine ninety nine. Yep. We can always lower it. Okay, I'm gonna hit back. That is drafted. Done. We we'll just gotta charge it. Yep, I will do that when we're done. All right, so in those four items, we had about 200, 245 bucks. 245 bucks. Yep, so we're about halfway done with our listing. We try to do 500 a day. That gets us about halfway there. But we do have a few more items we gotta get packed up and out of here. And then once mm -hmm. we come back from the post office, we'll finish the rest of our listing. So what's the next item that's sold? We sold another How to Train Your Dragon. This is just the How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. It is also Light Fury. Same, yeah, same dragon, just different. It, it's His jointed face and different. His tails is different. Yeah, the face is different. It's jointed different. The wings are a little different. Yep. So they're very, very similar, but... It took me a while different. to figure them out. Yeah. So what'd that little guy sell for? $11.99 plus shipping. Big, big difference from almost 40. Mm -hmm. 30. <laughs> 30? All right, and then it looks like we got a DVD. We do. We, um, my brain just farted. <laughs> I smelled it. You're an <laughs> asshole. We sold the Kevin Pollock, The Littlest Suspect DVD. Is that a comedy? It's a stand-up comedy okay. DVD. Yep, so that's it right there. Nothing special about that, but that mm -hmm. one sold for how much? $14.99 free shipping. Yep, we'll take it. So, all right, that is it. That's all we've got. Like I said, we do have to get this stuff packed up and we've got more listing to do and we're on a time crunch today. So we're going to get out of here and we will see you guys next time. Hasta la vista, baby.